This is Twit. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. The days of boring training methods are over. Meaningful impact shows up as high engagement, which translates to optimal performance. Your team deserves to feel entertained and empowered to keep your organization secure. Fill out the form at go.acilearning.com slash twit for information on a free two-week trial for your team. Voicemail time. What do we got? Hi, this is Harry from Carmel. Hi, Harry. And I'm wondering whether you have any information or knowledge on how to charge my e-bike at EV charging station. Ah! I've read some chatter about bringing your own charger, uh, a level two uh, charger or, or one with the, that capacity and getting some sort of adapter for the J1772 plug with a NEMA outlet that you can simply plug into the EV station and then plug your charger into the NEMA device and charge your battery on your e-bike so you can cruise for miles and miles and take long trips on it. What Any a, information you have on that? What, a, what a great yeah. idea. Bye-bye. I love that. By the way, I have charged in Carmel at a public charger. We went down there, stayed at a hotel, and there is a city charger. In fact, that was one example where I knew these charges were we were going to have problems. I used the app, found the charger. It was inoperative. Oh, wow. It had been operative for some time. And the pro it, there was another one on the other side of the parking lot. But I went to the one that was dead. And fortunately, I found the one on the other side of the parking lot. But it was a slow charger. So that's an interesting uh, question because, of course, the amperage of the J1772 or the or the public chargers and the J1772 as uh as uh, uh Sam was explaining is the little round part mm -hmm. above the fast chargers that amperage is very high the voltage is also very high so you'd need something that would step it down um i mean the tr that's a really interesting yeah it is question um let me see here i just got Here's a on an e-bikes forum. I just got done installing a J1772 plug in my electric enduro frame. Huh. Okay. Uh, wow. A lot of times the other problem is that cars have software. When you plug into those, there's a whole charging infrastructure, and the car identifies itself and so forth. Um, he says it was a pretty simple thing to do, aided by the excellent cycle satiator see this all sounds a little scary to me uh I, i'd be worried about plugging something in and then my bike catches fire yeah i mean the bikes are designed to be plugged into the 120 volt yeah. wall charger although in the in the eu they use a higher voltage yeah um you could also charge your laptop <laughs> That just actually gave me a bit uh, of a, my heart did not wow like that. well let me let me look at this cycle satiator see what that is when it's at home because that's that's what he used to do this um i'm gonna have to do a google search on it though cycle satiator that's a really interesting question and I, I should probably have uh read those emails ahead of time uh the satiator oh from ebikes .ca, but you can also get it on uh, Amazon, is an interesting box. It is a programmable ah, electric bike battery charger that will handle 24, 36, 42, or 52 volts. Now, it's not cheap, and it looks pretty heavy. Uh, you got to carry, uh, carry this around, $365. But if you have, you know... Uh, a um a basket or you know some you know panniers or something you could so it looks like yeah this is a, an interesting product start up video so we can get you charging your batteries from grin it's from grin so this is what you would need it's a programmable bar battery charger it's compatible, it, it looks like, uh, with a variety of charging standards. Uh, it has uh, XLR. You'd have to get an adapter to make it work with the, the, uh, the J1772. 
sounds like this guy was able to get that adapter. There is a website also called evseadapters.com and they sell one where on one side it's the uh, NEMA and then on the other side it's just your standard plug. Well, there plug. you go. And there's a, I'll share so the article. So you could article. use that uh, to uh, charge your laptop, as I said. Yeah. It, well, oh God, I'm not saying <laughs> so yes gonna to that. So it's going to have to step it down, EVSE adapters. So that comes from uh, Scooter X in the chat. And okay. so there's a whole article in electricbikereview.com where this individual not only did this, but also looked at um, the amount of power coming out of the device and all sorts of stuff to make sure that now this, gonna... this is ridiculously heavy. I'm sure 219 bucks. You see on the one side, the J 1772 adapter, you would plug in. Uh, and then the other side, regular standard U S plug sockets. Mm -hmm. It's a big old transformer is what it is. So just carry that on your bike and it'll yeah. drop your mileage by <laughs> yeah. quite a bit. Uh, but what the heck? They, you know? they do have some other options that are a little smaller. That one in that one in the bottom left corner there. Um, the J1772 uh, to uh, NEMA 515, which is, of course, your regular plug socket. Yeah. Now, if you're going to use this, it's only 100 bucks and it looks like it'd be pretty lightweight to carry around. If you're going to use that, though, your battery on your e-bike has to handle 220 volts. Yep. Because um, it's not a step-down transformer. This is just a connector. So it's an adapter. Do some research before please, you plug it in. Please <laughs> I don't want do you to blow research. up your bike. Um, but, yeah, that's for 100 bucks, fairly lightweight. You'd go to uh, the charging station. You plug the, uh, the charging station's plug into this side. Plug your bike into the other side. I'm just imagining someone with one of those e-cigarettes and they come over and they have this whole contraption just to just charge, to charge their e-cigarette. Cigarette. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. So you can power anything that has a standard electrical plug as long as it can operate at 240 volts. Which, by the way, because of international use, is, is usually the case. Mm -hmm. And you'd see that it would be written on your on your on your bicycle battery or your charger so you'd know what you were doing wow you'd have to carry your bike charger mm -hmm. as well and this adapter uh caution make sure your ev charger appliance is configured to operate on 220 volts before connecting to the charging station most charging stations operate at about 220 volts Oh, golly. That's the other thing. Most. Most. And as someone points out, you'll also want to make room for your entire fire retardant vest that you'll wear while you try this to make sure it works. Okay. And uh, as our chat room is pointing out, and this is, uh, thank you, Eric Duckman, you also have this software issue. And so you want something that's going to signal. Yeah, it looks like it'll work. Yeah. Uh, the ones on the EVS, uh, e, excuse me, the EVSE adapters, um, most of them have something built in that will communicate and say, hey, yes, it's okay. I'm to a car. Charge. Yeah. I'm a car. I'm a car, I swear. Honest. Your Honor, I am not a, a cat. Car. I am a car. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a great question. And I it thank is. you to the uh, IRC for coming up with a, a pretty cool looking answer. I don't think I'm going to do this, but it's not a bad idea. Most electric bikes have a range of 100 miles or thereabouts. But yeah, if you're in Carmel and you want to go, I don't know, you want to go to San Jose, you could, you could carry this with you. It's a thought at the very least. <laughs> <laughs>